Hi, welcome back to educate2.com and here's Sitsuki, your host. I want to wish you a very happy 2022 year. I hope it will continue to be like that for the rest of the year, okay? Today's video, what I want to do is I want to take this LCD screen from my broken laptop and convert it into a external HDMI monitor. Why that would be amazing is that I can now use this uh, LCD screen to monitor my uh, cameras, like external uh, HMI monitor, or it can be used to connect to my laptop for a second monitor, or desktop second monitor, or even for game playing, or for playing DVD or Blu-ray uh, player. So there's so many applications for this. Uh, I didn't want to purchase you know, a uh, screen because I have all these uh, devices lying around. I want to utilize it properly and I don't want to spend too much money. Now you can probably get LCD screen about this size for around 120 bucks, but you may not have the ability to connect to other devices, like for example, having HMI port, uh, VGA port, or RCA port, okay? Some of these controller boards allow you to do that. So that's why I want to do it myself, and it will cost me less than, I guess including the power supply, less than 50 bucks, okay? And it's fun too. So let's do that right now. All right, so we're going to take this monitor and we are going to transform it into a external HMI monitor with, of course, maybe ability to connect to an RCA uh, devices or uh, VGA devices, okay? So it, it supports the older technology as well. Now, how would you be able to do that? Well, you need to get a video controller, okay? They call that video board controller. This is the one I got. So the company that I uh, order from is VS Display. They produce many type of video uh, controller board. Now, they don't sponsor it in any way, so I don't even know if this is gonna work. I might have to bring it back if it doesn't work. I assume that this worked because it was matching the model number that I have right here, B156XW102. Okay, so let's see if this is the one. It's kind of weird that the number is not matching. I hope this is not the wrong one. <laughs> that would be pretty scary, right? Okay, let's see. Uh, okay. Let me see if it is the right one. I hope so. Uh, I'll be very angry if it's not. So anyway, the good thing about this um, display comes with a uh, remote control, which is awesome. And then you have this button for controlling um, different menu aspect of the monitor, like brightness, different color setting and all that stuff. Okay, so this is for controlling that. And even have an uh, infrared to con connect to the remote control there. And so here's the connector. now. And then, of course, the supply supply is right here, and I have it ready here. Okay, we can connect the power supply there. The one thing I like about this motherboard or this uh, video controller board is that it has the HMI, you have VGA, RCA, you have audio input here. Not sure what the other one is for, but and then you have the USB. I think it might be able to play some of these files, like MP3 and other video files. And then, of course, you have this special RF for connecting to TV, I believe. That's, I think that's what it is. So it's very backward compatible to the older technology. So that's great. So what I want to do is remove this connector here that's from the screen. And we'll connect it to this um, controller board. All right, so let's do that. Grab my tools. Let's remove the plastic here. Yeah, I still want to keep this connector just in case in the future I need to connect to something, but so I don't want to rip this either, right? I have to be very gentle with it it's still. Mm, okay, so there we go. I removed this uh, part, and then I will connect this part here to... This looks like it's the same side, and... Let's see, it looks like the, I think you take, it, the gold part is out, 
facing out. Yeah, it seems like the gold part is facing out. Yeah. And the green is on the bottom. Okay, so there's a gold plated connector there. So I'm going to slip that in. It should fit snugly in there. You know, the one thing I don't like would be these connections. They're so thin. Like I'm afraid that I'm, you know, it's not connected properly. So we're going to make sure when you snap it in, you snap it in tightly so all the wire is connected properly. Okay, let me just, for now, take one of my tape uh, to kind of seal it up. Okay. There we go. Just for now, secure it. And then what I'll do is, again, I will secure this part here. This is just temporary. I, I, I'm, I might make another video on how to put it in a nice ordery fashion with containers and and support stuff. Okay, so right now I don't really care too much about that. I just want to make sure it works. Making it look nice is a different art altogether. I will probably make another video on that. But for now, we'll see if this works because I need to figure out if I, can, I need to return it if it doesn't work. All right, so here. This. You know the weird thing is, I don't think it came with the manual, did it? Oh wow, no manual. Let me see if I connect it. So, got to make sure that it works. Okay, so let me just plug it in and see. At least shows some kind of image. Like lights, right? We'll see. Alrighty. There we go. Let's plug the power like that. Okay. And then plug in the power supply. Mm, let's see what happened here. Um, oh, I can see it. Yeah, it, it's lighting. There is a light. There we go. It's glowing. So it's working. There we go. I can see. Yeah, there's no signal. Hey, it worked. Cool. Okay. That is a good uh, indicator that this monitor is working. Excellente. Right, now we, what we want to do next, okay, is to connect the button for controlling, okay? So we're going to do that right now. Let me zoom out. There we go. Okay, so now I know that this monitor works and it say there's no signal. That sounds pretty good. Next thing I want to do is to control this video board, okay, this video board controller. And we're going to try to control with the remote control as well. Okay, so where's my scissors here? Sorry for all the mess here. Okay. Okay, there it is. Now, it should be that hard. So we, I can, I can see the connection is not that hard to connect, right? So here we have this uh, long white connector. It goes right in like that. Now make sure you don't push too hard. Because you're going to make sure that it fits snugly and snap in. There we go. And then the next one, oh, there, see the light? There's an indicator right there. There's a green light, so it was working. Then the next thing I want to do, uh, that's it. Wow. <laughs> There's not, I thought there would be more stuff. Okay, so they basically put it, everything up for us already. So now, let me see. Um, power off, power on. Hey. Okay, so let's see. Let's see if we could, uh, okay, power on. Oh, there we go, power on's on. Mm -hmm. It takes a while, okay? The thing is when you press power, it doesn't come on automatically. As we can see here, it's on. So menu, oh, <laughs> there we go, the menu work. Um, there's volume, you can increase the volume. Wow. Oh, so it comes with this auto. So this this thing here, the RF, allows you to connect to TV. You see, auto tuning. Now I'm not sure if this is digital or analog, right? I'm not familiar with TV, uh, digital or analog. But it does have this RF and gives me an option to. Wow, look at that. See, I can go TV, AV, so audio, video. This is from the RCA that you have HDMI, you have the PC which is the um, VGA, and then you have the media which is the USB. Okay, connector. So let me do that again for you. Okay, as you can see here, we have TV, AV, audio, video, HDMI, which is that's the one I'm interested in. Connect to PC, the older PC that uses uh, VGA will work, 
And then of course, um, you can also connect your like file, video or audio file media using, there's a USB connector right here. So they have it right here, okay? So yeah, awesome. So you can see here, oh, okay, so far, this is what it looks like, okay? So here's the module. Now I have to put it together, make it look more nice. But for now, I just wanna make sure that I got it working for now. And then we'll figure out the more organized way to make the model looks more pleasing to the eye. Hmm. Okay, so now I'm gonna put a battery on this uh, remote control and see if I can control it using a remote. Let me see, grab my, let's see what do they use. Oh, it's using the AA, triple A battery. I don't have it here. Let me go and grab it. Hold on. All right, so here's a triple A battery. I'm just gonna put two of them in there. Okay, and then what we wanna do is try it out. Let's see, power. Okay, you gotta be careful here. You don't wanna shock anything here. Okay, so, oop, I don't wanna scratch the screen either. <laughs> okay, so let's try again. So you can see the green light. Now let's see, power off. Ah, it worked. Power on. It takes a while, I think. Yeah, there we go. Power on, green light. So the remote works. Um, let me see, input, there we go, it's working. It's just, the one thing is, it takes a while for it to load up. And then um, input, there we go, so it works. And you can bring down the arrow and bring up the arrow, there we go. Yeah, it works perfectly. Awesome, so there we go. It's working so far. I'm going to now maybe make it look nicer and put it together and let you look at it. Now it's not gonna be like amazing looking uh, monitor but i want to make sure that it works properly okay and have it uh, at least stand on its own and able to kind of connect to everything actually that's the one thing i want to do next uh, i want to be able to connect to um, my phone okay let's see if i can connect to my phone using the hdmi let's do that first before we jump to the conclusion that this thing works i mean it shows the menu and everything right but will it connect to the hdmi let's do that right now okay so let me grab my cable. Okay, so here is the connection to my smartphone. This uh, USB-C, and then there's the HDMI, and then there's the HDMI cable. So let's see if it works, all right? All right, let me bring it over. Okay, first grab my phone. There's my phone. And we're gonna connect the USB-C to that. And that activates, okay, my, let's make sure it's in there. This is the QGEEM brand. I don't know, I never heard of it, but anyway, it was on sale for I think under $25 and allow me to connect my smartphone to USB connector, USB 2.0 and 3.0, as well as SD card and TF cards here, right, for memory card, and then the HDMI. So it has a lot of connection there. So what I'm gonna do, is try out the HDMI. So here it is, this is my HDMI cable. And we wanna connect it like so, and connect it to the video controller. There we go. Okay, so now you see there's nothing yet. It's just showing you it's no signal. So what we wanna do is grab our remote control and select on the remote control HDMI. There we go. and. There, it worked. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch it to its landscape. There we go, can you do that? There we go. Oh boy, it worked, amazing, okay. So here we have my smartphone now has a uh, external monitor. It cost me less than $50 because the controller is 35 and my power supply is another 10 to $12. So you're looking at close to 50 bucks, right? And of course, this does not come with the connector to the HDMI, but this is extra anyway. This is something that I needed for my uh, smartphone, so it's not really related. I mean, it can connect to the smartphone. You have this uh, modular device here, but it definitely will be able to connect to your uh, laptop that has HDMI or VGA, or it can connect to your desktop, same thing, whether it has HDMI or VGA. It can connect it to your um, DVD player or Blu-ray player because of the HDMI, or if you have the older DVD player or our, um, you know those VHS, you can connect to that as well. And if you know anything about the RF, 
signal you can convert this into TV now again I don't know whether that's analog or digital okay so I will try that in the future and if you want me to talk about that and try it out I'll let you know but so far this video board controller is amazing so I'm able to now use my monitor to uh, act as my um, external display so I now can co connect to my laptop desktop DVD player blu-ray player and even my smartphone so very useful this is why uh, it's probably better in some way than your uh, typical HDMI LCD screen monitor when you buy separately because the module that comes with it has different connection input right so that's great including the older technology like RCA all right so here's the finished product nothing fancy I reused the structure of the screen itself then uh, what I did was I screw into this plastic stand like I have all these uh, material that's lying around just reuse them got it to work there's the uh, connection to my smartphone to the LCD screen for my laptop so it works really great and it's very portable as you can see here and by the way as you can see it's controlled by a remote control that comes with it so I could like switch it to let's say if I want to do you know PC I could do that I can go HDMI right right so there we go HDMI it's gonna hooked up and should be playing right now so there we go so it works really well and I'm very proud of it this 15.6 inch screen from the laptop is now able to be used to connect to my smartphone to my DVD player to my desktop use an external monitor for example can be used for you know playing blu-ray as well because it has an HDMI connector it's also able to use all my other older components with the RCA uh, component and it has the VGA right and RF for connecting to TV and all that so a very useful mod uh, for your LCD screen it works perfectly $50 now you are able to reuse this LCD screen from a laptop cool thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe bye